I admire very much, obviously, what you've managed to achieve, and I personally think that the world would be a much better place if, uh, if more women were in power, were in charge of, you know, governments and companies and so on. What does it take? I mean, what would it take, uh, you know, for more women to come forward? What's your thoughts regarding this? Um, I think we need a balance. It's not about one dominating or the other, because um, with domination come intimidation and and uh, lack of motivation, lack of opportunity, and so on and so forth. So I believe in a balanced society and a, and a balanced power. I think um, there are, let's look at the, the two sides, women who are already in jobs and career. What can we do? We can give them the tools, we can give them uh, the coaching, mentoring, um, help and support, encourage them, reward them, praise them. Um, to do their job even better. Um, and, but the also the other side is, what can we do with the young toddlers and young girls? Uh, how can we nurture them? How can we give them the, um, the space to grow, treat them equally like boys and, and girls? Um, um, help them to explore uh, what interests them, uh, what they like to do. I'm part of an organization called Every Woman. Uh, we did some survey, and one thing came out is that uh, girls do not really, some girls obviously, I shouldn't generalize it, um, plan their career well ahead. So what can we do to help them think ahead, plan ahead, plan what is it that they want to do, what interests them? And um, some may like to take a a job uh, in a pressurized environment, some would like to be a board director, some may not. But the decision has to be theirs as long as we support them, we help them, we, we nurture them accordingly, groom them. Um, so I think cradle to career. Good cradle will lead to a successful career. Uh, you were mentioning about your nan, uh, your grandmother. Was there anybody else or anybody in particular who inspired you in, in your early years? Um, I believe the inspiration comes from two different things, action and reaction. So in terms of action, the people you are with or surrounded by and you admire them and you want to be like them. And in my case, it was my parents were my heroes, my father for his really hard work, very passionate about his work, integrity, uh, commitment to family and my mum for um, daring attitude, um, speaking her mind and uh, challenging the norm. Um, they both taught me one thing uh, and that was um, just think about others and help others who are not as fortunate as you are. Um, so they were my heroes, they are the one who inspired me. In terms of the um, reaction, it comes from the people you see around you and uh, you feel sorry for them and you don't, you want to be different. And I saw poverty uh, around me, I saw dependent women, I saw uncut diamonds that I call them who had, I, I had the capability and ability and they can make decisions, were very creative, were not given the opportunity. And I just wanted to be different so I can do something for those people and stand on my own two feet. Well, you've obviously had big dreams because, you know, since the beginning you've been telling me that your vision was to yeah. have the food all around the UK and, and all over the world. So you did obviously have a very clear vision in your mind of where you wanted to go. Um, what does it take to be, uh, you obviously worked very hard to achieve what you've, what you've achieved. What does it take to be a successful businessman or woman? I wish there was a magic answer, and there was yeah. one answer. Um, a lot of things, really. Um, obviously, the, the vision, the passion um, for the business and the product that you sell, you've got to believe in it. Uh, knowledge is absolutely key. So knowledge about uh, your product, knowledge about your business. I know ins and outs of my business because I've worked my way up, done everything in the business. So I can tell from right to wrong. Um, really knowing your people, 
because their motivation, their engagement is absolutely vitally important in, for the business. Um, knowing your customers and your market is, is absolutely key. Only last week I was attending uh, consumer research and was fascinating listening to them. So that's very important to really understand your market and understand your customers, your retailers. So uh, knowing your facts and figures, obviously, because they tell you a story which direction the business is going. And then obviously um, determination, focus. So there are lots of things that you need in business to, to succeed. Lots of ingredients. A lot of ingredients, yeah. <laughs> Your finger on the pulse. Absolutely, absolutely.